Good morning, guys. So, nice echo, right? I'm in the entryway of the big apartment that's above the two smaller apartments I bought back at the beginning of uh, May. I think we're on May 10th of this year. So it's been about, uh, we're about six, seven weeks in now. And everything always takes a little bit longer than you think it's going to take. But we got approval from the city for all the big changes we're going to do. And uh, we've started to do demolition in the apartment. We're going to actually change the whole kitchen, which I didn't think we were going to do. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys the travertine floors we're putting in, and it's all coming along. So the big echo, because we're in a big entryway, that's the ceiling from the 16th century. You probably don't get that in your condo building in Austin, Texas, I imagine, uh, or wherever you are. So uh, let's go inside and let's see how the guys are coming along. Now I've slowed down the first part of this video because there's a lot to cover right when we step in. You can see that we kept some of the furniture, some of this will still be leaving, but like this big armoire and there's a, a sideboard or some sort of thing, something like a sideboard next to it. Uh, these things we'll be keeping, they're, they're beautiful old pieces. The wire on the floor is because we've disconnected all the electric in the house and for safety reasons, we'll run a cable with junction boxes and, and outlet boxes that we can tie into that are hot, but we can dig into any wall and know that we're not gonna get electrocuted. So we're gonna come into the master bedroom and I'm gonna go ahead and start speeding this back up again. Even for me, it's a little disconcerting that when I come into the bathroom and see how everything looks once it's all been ripped apart. But this is after we've taken everything out to expose the plumbing and the wiring. This is what it looked like before we started. This massage shower has to go. It's an inefficient use of space and it leaked and it's just plain ugly. So that is gonna be turned into a glass and natural stone enclosure. This sink is gonna get uh, made smaller, uh, new sink, and moved to the left to give us room to put in a shower that you can actually get into and be comfortable. We'll also be taking out a lot of the silver bars. Uh, some of these were very uh, intricate uh, handicap accessories for the former owner. And we'll be putting in some new toilets and bidets because once you have everything ripped out, all the tile off the wall, you're better off replacing all the appliances. It's not that expensive. They aren't historical toilets and historical bidets. And it's better to go ahead and do it because this is what you have to get down to and if you had to go back and maybe replace a toilet that had a different footprint than the last one, you'd be in big trouble trying to make everything match up. So this kind of resets the clock on all your uh, accessories that you're putting into the bathroom, and you shouldn't have to touch it again, at least in my lifetime. This will never be touched again, and hopefully that's a lot of years. Look at this electrical box, that one. One thing you'll notice in this apartment is there's no exposed wiring on the walls, going to lights, anything. So that tells me that this apartment was heavily remodeled within the last 40 years. So these floors, no way that they're historic floors, uh, that they, they were put in after the fact. They were put in, you know, when the apartment was completely remodeled because they changed rooms. Uh, they changed the setup of things somewhat, but the floors are continuous throughout. That tells me that it was done after the changes were made. This room's great, not much to do in here, uh, just a, a lime wash, which is what we do instead of painting uh, for traditional buildings. This is what this bathroom looked like before. Now, that is a very small shower. It's also ugly. Uh, so that's going away, the radiator's being moved, uh, the sink will be made smaller, and then we're gonna put in a, a stone and glass uh, enclosure for the shower uh, and uh, Again, we have to rip the walls down to the, to the basics to get it all the plumbing to be able to move stuff. And uh, that's all in the works here. A lot of work. Uh, worst part is getting rid of all the rubble when you do this kind of work because everything is hand carried out. Onward into the living room. Now, again, I've slowed this down so I can get some thoughts out. Most of this furniture is going away. The fresco, we don't even get close to touching it. And we're, of course, keeping the Murano glass lamp. Uh, that's just such a beautiful ceiling and really not even a blemish on it. Uh, the rest of the room, we're just going to be doing the uh, lime wash painting and the travertine floors will go in. Now, a lot of people were unhappy when I said I was going over the terracotta with travertine. 
But this in the inset is the type of travertine that we're using. That is over 200 years old and it was completely traditional material. So we're gonna spin around and start heading out through the kitchen where the guys are taking out all the cabinetry. Now, of course, no one touches my baby. <laughs> That's the most beautiful fresco in a private home. It's unbelievable. But these cabinetries aren't. We're taking out the tile. Uh, the sink is cracked. The countertop is cracked. All that has to go. And so we're just going to come in with some new cabinetry and a small seating area on the right. And then just as a nice reminder, the beautiful view. It was such a glorious day when I was shooting this video back at the beginning of July. Uh, it'll be so great to do some alfresco dining out on this uh, terrace. And I feel really blessed to be the, the shepherd and, and uh, keeper of this apartment for the next 20 or 30 years, hopefully. Now, in the last video that I made, uh, when I introduced this property before renovations, we never went downstairs to look inside the apartments. And just as a reminder, underneath my big terrace is a one bedroom. And on the other side of the common area, courtyard is another one bedroom very small and so let's go in the bigger one real quick it's long and it's skinny it'll be hard to decorate but at one end you have a beautiful view which is always just breathtaking so we're going to have a queen size bed facing this view and the headboard of the bed we decided to use a bookcase uh, so that facing the room there'll be some storage space so the uh as we're coming up here We'll have a little seating area, a couple chairs, a table, and then this is the kitchen. And we're replacing the cabinetry. There wasn't any, so we had to go in with new. We didn't rip anything out. Uh, we'll be putting nice dome uh, barrel ceiling. Uh, we'll be putting in uh, new cabinetry, small sink, uh, two burner stove, uh, and a, uh, on this side, there'll be some more cabinetry, espresso machine, etc. And then due to Italian law, when you come through a doorway, before you can get to a bathroom, you have to have two closable doors, not one. So that's why that little sink room was there. Uh, another beautiful little room. We're gonna keep the massage shower in this one for now. It has a nice glass enclosure and a little window that goes out to the courtyard. You can't quite see it, but just to the left of that courtyard is a great restaurant called El Pozo. Beautiful place. So this is a very small uh, studio apartment. And all we have to do in that bathroom, which is over there, is uh, put in an angled shower by a smaller sink and reconnect a few things. Uh, this one also has the great view and uh, the door leads out to the courtyard. And then you come across, so this will just have like a full size bed, little seating area, espresso machine. Uh, it'll rent for under $100 a night. And it's nice to have another one that we don't have to do a whole lot to. We do need to buy some electrical fixtures because that was all taken out. But all in all, they look great. So we won't be working on these for another couple months. In the meantime, please subscribe. Uh, always nice to have you guys with me. And I'll be making some new, new videos very soon. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon.